Hi guys and welcome to Java of MS Access Database Connection. And now let me show you guys how this works. So as you can see right here, let's assume we want to print. Just click on the print and you select whatever you want to print. Just allocate yourself if you have a printer. Go ahead, do that. Or you can even save it as a PDF file. I'm not going to bother doing that. We can reset if we want. But I'm not going to reset yet. And we can also select. Just click on DB Connect. That will show you the, the last input. If you select any data in here, that will be displayed here. And let's assume we want to reset. Click on Reset. Yes, enter new data in there. Um, let's say the name is Liz Queenie. And here, address number one, Gus County. And postcode. Telephone number There we go All you then need to do is just click on insert So just to prove to you that we don't have the details of Liz have a good look at it click on insert there and Right there the details of Liz is already added to the database Now let's check out the database itself Okay, let's open up the database and check out Liz. Double click on that and right there, that's the details of Liz. So I'm going to close that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into JavaNet Bean and we put one of these together. Okay, let's click on exit. You can say no or you can say yes, you want to exit. There we go. So I'm going to go straight to the file. Let's select file, new project. And in here, make sure you select Java with and and select Java application. Click on next. And you can give your project a name. I'm just going to call it Java underscore MS underscore access. Yeah, that will do. And I'm going to get rid of the create main class because I intend to create that myself just click on finish there we go now let's see that's my Java right there okay so you see the Java I'm gonna right click on it let's go to new and select Java frame okay now select Java frame to create a form you can give that a name too. The name is going to be Java underscore MS underscore access. There we go. And the package name, I'm going to copy that and just name, give it the same name. Click on finish. There we go. Now, I'm going to now right click on this form. And let's go to where we have set layout. I will select absolute layout there I'm just gonna drag it that much there we go okay now the form is ready but let's do one thing I'm just gonna right click on the form let's select properties in here because I want to get the form centered I'm gonna select that you see the size of the form I'm gonna increase that to 1300 and just make this randy top make it 600 and that is that there now let's go straight into the panel here and inside the palette and in the palette i want this panel just grab that and drag it that much okay i think that we do now go to the properties of that particular panel and in there I want the border let's look for border there we go that's the border click on the border I'm gonna select line border make that about four there and right here you see where we have the color for the line border I'm gonna change that to 
let's go for cadet blue I do know the yet yeah, I know the code for that that's 90 by 95 by 158 by 160 make this 160 no 160 and yep yeah, that's cadet blue right I think that is a little bit too thin for me I'm gonna make that it all right that's cool now right click on it and I'm going to then select absolute layer for it as well let's make sure that is going to stick yeah absolute layer selected yeah absolute layer now I'll copy it so right click and just copy where is copy there and paste right and I'm going to need one more of those drag this down paste another one yeah let's undo that and just bring it here cut it off okay that's much better and I'm just going to adjust that the way I want I think this might be too large and just bring this here alright this will be for my buttons that is fine now the next thing we want to do is right up here let's add label you don't have to add label I'm just doing it my own way so let's come right here the palette let's grab hold of label dump it right here go to the properties change the properties to something MS access database connection in Java Lead beans. Okay, now let's increase the fonts. Let's make that a little bit more readable. There, I think that's a bit too small. Then I'm going to just increase that a little bit more. Let's see. All right, that will do. Yeah, that's cool. Now the next thing is back to the palette here. Yeah. Now I'm just going to add a label, then a text box, or oh, it's called a text field, that's what I want, yeah. Then, let's just change the size of these two components, then we can go ahead and copy and paste, not the color of this font size. Make that about 24 bold. Okay, that will do. So this very one here, let's change this to right click and just change the text content to student ID. That is fine. And the other one, the lab, the the text field, we change that to maybe it's JTXT student ID copy that come right in here right click go to the okay change that to JTXT student ID there click on OK get rid of the text content that we have in there now select both control C paste we have two copy paste we have four paste and we have six that's what I'll do there and this right click text change that to first name and this is going to be JTXT first name change the variable name JTXT first name now this is going to be so name 
and this will be JTX is on it. Next is going to be address. Copy that. Right click on this. Change the variable name to JTXE address. Now here that is going to be postcode. Copy that. Change the text field to JTXE postcode. Click on OK. Now the last one that's going to be telephone. Copy the telephone. Click on this. Change the variable name to telephone. JTXT telephone. Click on OK. That's fine. All done. So now the next thing we want to do is and I want to I'm going to add table somewhere here. So let's come back in here. Go straight to the palette. We need table. Let's see. J table. There. I think that is it. Yeah. There we go. Paste that there. Alright. That's my table there. Just drag it that much. Okay. We have table in place. Now, we'll come back to table and take care of that as time goes on. Now, let's come in here. We need buttons. A slam one button there and uh, let's see how wide that button is 260 I'm gonna make that 240 all right that's cool now let's change 240 we do let's change the text contents let's make it a little bit bold um, that might be too much but let's see now right click change text content to maybe db connect something like that now copy paste have one here paste another one here and paste again okay let's rename this ones this right click change the variable name or change the the data that's view or insert right click the variable name that can be j btn there insert this is j btn connect and here Let's change that to maybe reset or print something like that. Reset. That we do. Right click. Variable name. Change that to JBTN. JBTN. Reset. And here, right click. Change that to print. And here. I click change that to JBTM print there and the last one that's going to be exit I will change this one to JBTN exit okay JBTN exit brilliant all right let's finish up with the table right click on the table I'm going to select the table content right click you see table content and in the air let's go into columns the first column here I'm going to change that to student ID the second one that's going to be first name surname here and we have address here All right, you can change the data type. I'm not going to, I'm going to leave it as string. String and string here as well. Right. Um, 
okay we leave it at edit as editable let's insert more need two more let's select that to insert more and here I'm going to enter postcode the postcode and right here that's going to be telephone that's good all right so all of that is taken care of okay four rows can always be increased that's fine all right let's close that and that's it so if I run it now let's just compile it and run all right click on run okay click on ok and there we go that is how it's looking now okay, that's how it's looking now so and before we go any further let's create our database I'm gonna select access and let's click on blank one I'm just gonna give that a name let's call it J connect there and click on create there we go now the table I'm gonna right click on that very table let's go to design view and the very let's just call it J connect as well that would be the name for the table there we go and the very first one here I'm just gonna leave that as ID change this one to text as well and the next one that's gonna be student okay let's ch change this to student ID here instead of ID student ID and this one is going to be first name and I'm gonna make this surname next is going to be address then we have postcode and telephone okay that's my database done right click and just save so the database is taken care of if you double click on J connect that's what you see so I can now close the database now the next thing we want to do is I'm going to open up my control panel that's a control panel that's it right there and inside the control panel what you need is the administrative tool double click on the administrative tool and right there depend on what your window is mine is 64 bit if you're using 32 bit then you set it for 32 bit so double click on the 64 bit okay now the next thing you want to do because we intend to add the driver go to system and right in here click on add and the driver that I'm adding is going to be the Microsoft access driver this very one click on finish there we go now it's now asking you to give it data in there. I'm just gonna call it J connect as well and here you see where we have select click on select and let's look for our database and right here double click on the document I should be able to see my J connect that is it right there click on OK there and click on OK since I now have the directory there we go and right there and click on OK again now we can now close this and close this as well okay I'm going to close that now and let's click on the source so that we go to the source code the following libraries you're going to need the following and right in here we declare the following for the connection so underneath here we say connection and I'm going to call that con there we go and the next one is going to be the prepare statement okay for the prepare statement I'm just gonna call that PST there we go alright the other thing is I'm going to enter result set 
and let's just call that RS there. Wrong spelling. Now, I want to declare some integer variable or call that I QI ID and let's say declare a delete item. All right, now that that is taken care of, I now want to take care of uh, maybe first of all, I think I should create a function that I'll use to enable my database. So, okay, right underneath here, right underneath this uh, constructor, I'm going to say, let's say public void. I'm going to call that MS connection or con let's say connect DB and enter the following because I intend to add a table I'm going to enter that table as uh, inside the parentheses itself then let's say that table is going to be table 1 there we go now another bracket and a curly bracket okay let's just try cache so that I will prevent whatever error that I might run into so let's say cache statement here and that's going to be exception ex come right down here there now the very first thing I like to do now that I have to do is to first of all let's say class dot for name and the class dot for name in there I'm going to let's say next dot let's say use use can access let's say dot j dbc dot you can access driver and there okay next thing I want to do is I'm going to get hold of my connection and say con that is going to be equals driver manager dot get connection and the connection that is going to be jdbc column you can access column so that's and I need to know the location where my database is let's open that up right here that's my database so I hold on to the shift key right click on the database and let's copy the parts okay now the part that the part is copied let's paste the part right here just after the double column just paste that there there we go now see this single backspace make that double and let's get rid of this quote and just put it right here there we go and this one too should be I'm gonna get rid of that okay that is the address of my database but here that should actually be I'm gonna get rid of this All right okay I don't really need to bracket let's get rid of this one as well enter semicolon in there now the next thing that I want to do is to use the state statement in there let's come let's enter in here and just say 
let me say statement st that will be equals conduct create statement create statements there and enter semicolon there next it's a string I'm going to just call that query and this query I want it let's enter selection statement select all that will be from J connect and the, the J connect that is the name of my database as you can see here okay that's taken care of now what about the I now need the results let's see where is it right here the result itself so I can just say in there R S that would be equals S T and that's a statement dot and that will be execute query double click on that enter semicolon the query to be executed that is my query right there now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm now going to get in the table so right here let's say J table J table one dot set set model and that is going to be as follows let's say I'm gonna say D B utility dot result dot result set to table mode and that's going to be RS which is the result itself okay and this DB utility I'm going to click in here just to get a library for it okay I might as well just go up, up here and just enter as follows okay as you can see we have an error there that's no problem so let's go into my project I need to add some libraries let's come right here where is the project okay that's it drop this down see where we have library right click on it and let's select add jar file okay I'm going to click on my jar file here and these are the libraries that I want to add so I have the common long and the login I'm going to add all of them all files click on open there we go and let's come in here now you see the error is gone so have a good look at those files you're gonna need them six of them so far you can always download them online and just save them somewhere for future use okay those are the files the common lang the common login hs library jack assets rs to xml jar file and uh, the you can access there all done okay now the next thing I want to do is let's go back into my 
function that I was creating you see right in here now and now I want to enter just a brief statement in there so let's say J option plane dot we want it to show message so I'm going to just double click on that show message dialog and the message I want it to show I'm just going to enter none in there and that is it okay let's save that all right let's go into the form I just want to try this out so we're gonna copy this to see if we'll be able to view the database so right click and just come in here let's go to event and I'm gonna to go to Windows window activate I'll do that one more time And right in here into that there and let's enter an argument right inside the parentheses there so I just enter my table so if there's anything that should be we'll be able to view that on the table so I'm going to compile and let's run okay let's just click on that run there there we go there's no error so my table is working although there's nothing inside my table so maybe I should add some data into it and let's just use that to verify if it's fine or not so let's go into the table itself and I'll just enter some data into it there we go double click on that I just want to make sure it's working as expected right click view and no let's enter data just enter whatever in there and the name is going to be Paul Parker address 17 Hill Road postcode and telephone number okay so I'm gonna save that and close so I'm going to now run it one more time run hopefully there we go look at that guys that is very good it is working as we want so you can see that that's beautiful alright so what we then need to do now is just to take care of these ones so I'm gonna exit out and let's come right in here okay let's take care of the exit button first right click on it select event action action perform and right here that is the event procedural area first of all I'm going to create a private object in here and I'll just say private J frame and I'm just gonna call it frame and underneath here let's use as follows we say frame that will be equals new frame that is the object that I'm creating and is going to be let's say alias is exit now I'm going to use an if statement if j option plane dot I'm going to go for show that will be show yeah show confirm dialog right and if we show confirm dialog that okay let's say that's a frame if it's frame then we want the following I'm going to enter a comma in there and let's just enter our own statement in there confirm 
if you want to exit. Want to exit? There we go. So that is my first, my second argument. The third one, the third argument, we just let's just call that connection DB. That is my third argument. And the fourth argument is going to be option as well. Let's grab hold of this option. That's going to be for yes or no. In J option plan. Let's put a comma in here, press enter, paste that in there. Dot yes or no option. Grab hold of that. And I'm going to then say it equals J option dot yes no option. And the curly braces that will take over, that will take care of the exit itself. System dot exit. There we go. That is it. So my exit is taken care of. So I'm going to try that out now. Let's compile first and run. Click on run. There. And click on exit. See my database that display automatically. Click on exit. There we go. No, I don't want to exit. Yes, I do want to exit. Run it one more time. There guys, the exit is working. So with that, I'm going to call it the end of the second part of this tutorial and I'll see you guys shortly. Let's take care of insert, at least we know we've done that, and then the other two. Reset and print, they are easy, and this one as well. So let's take care of the insert first. I'm going to come right in here, right click on the insert button, and let's select event action and action perform right there get rid of this now first and first I'm gonna declare the following variable I'm just gonna call that Q1 and I'm gonna make because I have six of those so I'm gonna say Q2, Q3 and so on There we go. Okay, that will be make that six, and this is five. Three, two, and one. There we go. Those are my variables, and these variables I am now going to assign every component that I have here this very one now so the first one that is going to be the student ID let's copy that so back into that very code so I come down here so Q1 that is equals student ID dot get text there so I'm going to repeat the same thing for the others so let's say the next one all right so this is two and this is going to be first name now this will be surname And this is three. And here, four. Number four, that is going to be address. And this is going to be postcode. And here, that's five. And finally, that will be telephone.
There we go. Now I'm going to use a try cache to get the database in. So let's see. I'm going to copy one or two things in here. So let's grab all of this up to here. So come right down here. Paste. I'm going to close that try cache and let's get a cache statement as well. Close that. So grab hold of this cache statement up to here. Paste that right underneath. And there. So here, get rid of this class. Alright. Okay then. Now I have my okay driver manager in place, so that's that's fine. Now and I also have statements. I call that st. That is fine. Now I'm going to use let's say int a. That will be equals st dot execute an update. And what do you want to execute an update? I'm going to use let's say insert into j connect the following value the following values and the values that I intend to or that I'll be inserting there they are all of these here those are the values so I'm going to copy them paste that or paste it right in here but it in bracket bracket and a quotes there so the first one that will be plus and let's come right down here and this is going to be quotes plus and the same thing here yeah, the first one is taken care of so let's enter a plus sign here as well All right So I can just copy this and just change it around. Yeah, why not? Copy all of this. I make life a bit easier. And the next one. Get rid of this and here. Yeah. This will be two and so on that's three four five and six change that to six okay and here we end this quotes in there and that is it so those are the values that goes right in here let's see if we can bring this here so that you can see it all okay just have a look from here all right so let's see okay let's do one thing because so that you guys can see it all properly I'm gonna break break it down so that's two lines now yeah okay that's fine and I'm going to do the same thing for the driver manager so that you guys can see it okay so that's fine now I'm going to use an if statement to check so let's say if a equals equals one that means data is added so I can then say let's display a message box saying data is added okay, that's, 
I can grab hold of four uh, message box here. Yeah, just grab all of this. Bring it down. Paste that in here. So this message box is going to just tell the user. Let's say this comma. And I'm going to say student record added. Okay. That's fine. So now let's put something together for the cache statement. But before then, else, let's come in and say else. We can say there's an error, or now we just grab all of all of these. And in here, we can say error in certain data. Yeah. In certain data. That's it. Now. For my cache statements, I already have a cache statement in there. Or I can just ask it to print out an error message. Or this we do. Yeah, that we do. Okay, let's compile and just try it out first and see what's going to happen run enter some value in here that's the student data and the name is Tony Montana address number 12 let's say little Venice And the postcode, telephone number, okay, and just add one more there. All right, so let's try that out now. Click insert, student record added. There we go, look at that, it's working, that's good. So that is taken care of. Let's take care of this one. This is easy. So let's come in here. I'm going to go straight into exit. Have a good look at these lines of code, guys. Okay. That's my insert lines of code. All right. Let's go to exit. Exit should be down here somewhere. Just click on it. Select, right click, event, and exit. There, I'm going to copy all of this and come right down here. Select this, right click, event, action, and action perform. I just paste that here. But in this case, I'm going to say private j frame private j frame that will be i exit there so let's change all of this here to i exit there and this one can be exit as well Okay, here confirm if you want to reset. So this one is reset as well. I mean, confirm if you want to reset. In that case, if you want to reset, you just want the following to happen all of this. Um, get, grab all of them, come right in here, paste that in here, and delete as follows. And this one becomes 
set. Okay, get rid of this as well. So we just need to set the values in there to nothing. There we go. One down. Be the same thing for the rest. There. Okay. All done. So that is care of reset. All right, that's fine. Okay, now compile and let's run. So that should say confirm if you want to reset. I'm just going to enter whatever data in here. Reset. Confirm if you want to reset. No. Reset. Confirm if you want to reset. Yes. So reset is done. So we only have one, two to take care of. Uh, maybe we should take care of the connect data. That should, shouldn't be much of a problem. Right click and let's select event action and action perform. There we go. Get rid of all of these. Okay, let's copy some some functions here inside the function that I created earlier. Okay, I'm just going to copy. Let's grab hold of all. Then uh, just delete as we go along. So right click on that. Action, action, perform. I'm going to paste that in here. Okay, so first thing first, let's break this into two. Press enter. There. Okay, this is fine, that's fine. Class for name, that is fine. Okay, the connector, that is fine. And underneath here, I'm going to enter another try cache in there. Right, and okay, one try cache, and in here, I'm gonna grab hold of this, select from whatever, and I'll change that to I'll change that to my reset statements. Yeah. Just grab hold of that, we'll call it off, delete this, and inside my reset statement, just paste that there. Okay, so that one is down. We don't need the table. Okay, now we use while loop. Why? dot is next what do we want close the other one and uh, right here I've just closed that of the try statement in there I just I need to close no I'm gonna close that of the right statement in there let's close that get rid of one error now, I'm going to enter as follows right underneath here. So maybe I can copy it. I'm going to copy this. I need all of them. Come right down here, paste. Okay, each of these we take in whatever we have inside result set dot get string. there let get string and the value in there will be one that is done the next one this the value here will be two and so on okay I 
that's good there so that is two three four five and six so what will happen is this we actually when you click on that button it will display the data on the text box now let's come right there and just say underneath here let's say the default value that will be in the text box that to be default table mode I'm gonna call that record table and that to be equals the default let's grab all of all of these paste it right in here and we now say J table no J table one dot get mode there we go that is J table one that should be lowercase right okay that's fine now that is done we now need to get this record table record table dot set dot set table no set record no that should be set rule rule and the rule that will be six there we go okay now the next thing we need to do okay then now let's do this get rid of this now give me an arrow put it underneath here okay so cache as follows so the first cache statement is taken care of so one two we have that that will take care of the first error message now another one i'm gonna grab hold of all of this and just paste it right underneath here there we go you see the arrow is gone okay that should take care of my insert statement but i then need to call my function in here so i'm gonna go in here and just say m Thing is called connect db or what is it called let me grab the name the name is up here oh there we go yeah it's correct okay oh, okay so uppercase Connect DB and in there there should be a table. Table one. Wrong spelling. There we go. All right. So I'll use that to display whatever we have in here into the text box so let's compile and run just to try that out run if I click on this there we go it's working that is good okay so let's change some data in here let's say we have Sally Sally Stone Sally Stone way Yuck way T 
do. Alright, let's add this insert. There, that's at least some way. That is fine, it's working. So if I reset now and click on this, it should display Sally Stoneway. Okay, that is fine. All then we all we then need to do is to print and when I click on this, I want it to display whatever data I have in there as well. So let's go into print, right click on print, event, action, action, perform and get rid of this. Okay, with the print, I'm going to create a message. That message will be for the, let's say format. That will be the header. And that will be new message format. And that's a page. No, printing. That should be printing. Printing in progress. Okay. So that's the first one. So the second one, let's copy and paste. That would be the footer. The footer now be let's say page yeah put that in a coil of braces that will be zero comma number comma integer good so using a try cash statement again and I'm just going to grab all of a cache statement here, grab all of all of these, paste it right underneath here. Let's do that from here. There. And here we just need to enter my print statement. So that's a J table. J table. One. Dot print yeah dot print and enter the following argument the argument is going to be table dot print mode comma that will be normal normal print mode no I can use normal. Yeah, I put my normal. Then that will be comma header comma footer. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to change this to. Yeah, let's change it to printing error message so let's say java dot abstract windows two dot print dot printer exception that would be e and just change this one to e Okay, my error message is taken care of if there's any printing error. So we can also modify that if you want. Okay then, say let's run that and see how that's going to work. Compile and run. Run. We have our data in there, hit on print. There we go. The print is working. Okay. There, we're going to save that. I'm going to save it on the desktop. Save. Oh, there's one there before. Okay, replace. Yes. And that's all. There. 
So I'm going to go through my desktop and see. Oh, there we go. It's open already. And that is it on the desktop. Okay, then. That is fine. The printing is working. So we exit out and take care of the last one. When I click on this, I want the data displayed on all of this text box. Now come in here, select the table, right click on the table, let's go to event and what I need is this uh, mouse click. So that is going to be mouse click, right. Okay, so come right in here, inside the table. I'm going to copy this data table default let's grab hold of all of this come right down here and just paste it right there okay now what we want to do next is I'm going to say int select rules that will be equals table j table J table one dot get Do that again dot get select selected rows. There we go. Now the very first one that is going to be J student. Let's copy all of this. Copy that. Come right down here. And just paste that right there. And the very first one, change all of these. That is going to be record table. Record table dot get value value art. Where is it getting the value at? That's going to be inside select role. Select roles and the role is role zero. Row zero dot to string. The first one is taken care of. So let's take care of the others. I'm going to copy this, paste it here. Next, next. So if you notice, the roll is starting from zero. So the next one is going to be one, two, three, four, and five. There. That is all there is to that. Okay. I think that's all there is to it. Let's compile and run. Click on run. There we go. Click on any of these. Look at that, guys there and that is how you create your own MS access database connection in Java so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of my channel there's a lot of benefits if you're a member so you all have a nice day now and bye for now